Now, if you, if you got a camera or a camera phone, go ahead and get it out. I want you to take pictures. I want you to take videos. I want you to post them online and make sure you let everybody in the world know what a good time you had here at the Carnival Curiosity Bar with the one and only Wizard Man. That's right, once again, that's me. But here's what we're going to do first. I'm going to show you some of the weird stuff I've done with my body, then I'm going to show you some of the weird stuff I can do with my body. To start off, i tell you about my tattoo. That's right, tattoo. Not a costume, just no makeup or paint on my body, which you're looking at right now is over 600 hours of tattooing that took over 25 years to complete. But that is just the beginning. Check out these ridges over my eyes. They were created by having pieces of Teflon surgically grafted to my skull in a six hour operation with no anesthetic. That's right, I was awake the entire time. But it was just even more fun because then I had my teeth filed down into points using a dental drill. Check them out. But what I really want you to see is my tongue. Or I should say my tongue's plural. Because I do have two. Check it out. Oh, whoa. But I don't just want you to see my split tongue. I want you to see what it can do. Ooh. Yeah, calm, calm down. No volunteers. No volunteers. Oh, damn I do this part on my own right here on the stage, folks. I'm going to show you guys four amazing moves that I've taught my tongues to do. Each move has a name and each one gets more difficult than the last. I'll begin with the open and close. Yeah, that one's easy. It's a lot like oral applause, if you think about it. And I can tell by your smiles who's thinking about it. The second one I'm gonna show you, it's a little bit more difficult though. This one I call the up and down. Yeah, ladies, and statistically 10% of the men, now that I have your full attention, watch what happens when I do those two moves at the very same time. It's going to create what I like to call a crossover effect. But for the fourth and final move, I have saved the best for last. Watch now as I demonstrate for you a move that took me over two years, two years to figure out how to do. And even with all that time to think about it, I can never think of the right name for it. So the night my wife told me what she calls it. This one is the oh my god. Oh. Oh. I think I made a new fan. You guys, you guys are great. Now, I told you I'd tell you about the weird shit I've done to my body and I just did. Now I'm going to show you some of the weird stuff I can do with my body. Now a lot of you said you've been to a side show before, so you may have seen something similar to what I'm about to show you now. But uh, I do have my own way of doing things. Right now, I'm going to take this fork right here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this fork a lick with my fork tongue. <laughs> oh. I do that for two reasons. Number one, I think it's fun. <laughs> Number two, I need to lubricate it before I place this fork quickly, but carefully, in my face. Oh! Yeah. You know, the first time I saw somebody do this, I forgot to applaud too. <laughs> yeah, come on. I'm I sorry, I'm I so... I my, myself with crumbling. For your entertainment, the least you can do is slap your hands together a few times. I'm recording, man. Uh, go, clo close your jaw. I don't want you to catch any flies. It's all right. Sorry. <laughs> hey, sweet folks. I want you to understand that this is a real fork and it really is inside my face. I know you got questions. You're wondering, how does that work? Well, it's very simple. I'm missing part of my brain. <laughs> yeah. The part, that, the part that tells you not to put forks in your face. It's usually right here, but watch. Oh. It slides, right? You look concerned. You think you're right? It's okay. You're not in any danger. You are. Unless he I is. Sneeze. <laughs> and she's fork. <laughs> yeah, now here's the thing. You've seen how the fork goes in. Watch how it comes out. Salty. Oh. Now that fork, that fork 
work is just a warm up. To get you guys used to what you're about to see and to get my head ready for what I'm about to do. Because now it's time for my cranial corkscrew. Oh my god. It's a corkscrew for my head. Take your hands away from your face and slap yourself silly when you applaud. <laughs> See this corkscrew? Yeah. I'm going to take the tip of it right there. You've heard that before, just the tip. And I'm going to place it in my nose like the fork. And when I do, there's a twist. <laughs> now, these, these are tongues, man. <laughs> They're the highest form of you. Uh. This corkscrew is going to travel through my sinus cavity, down the back of my throat, and emerge out my mouth completely, transversing my skull. To get your cameras oh, ready. Scary. Because I would hate for you to miss the one opportunity in your life to record a completely tattooed freak screwing himself for your entertainment. <laughs> you got that oh one, my goodness. <laughs> there we go. That's lube. Uh-uh. Lube is important when it's this big. <laughs> yeah. If you're here with someone who didn't laugh at that, leave with someone who did. Watch closely. You might just catch the moment I hyperextend my jaw to give it enough room to pass through. Developing a, a freak audience relationship, and you know what? I wanna, I wanna take this relationship to the next level with you guys. Oh my goodness! But I wanna be responsible about it, so I got one of these. Oh! I, but I, I oh. reuse them. I reuse them. I reuse them. Oh my! I, I used it three times already. Now. I think it's good for one more. I think it's good for one more. I don't worry. I see what you're doing. You're getting all nervous. Like, uh, don't, worry. don't worry. It's not going. It's not. Going. No, 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 no. It's not. Look. Don't worry about kids either, don't worry. The kids don't even know what this is. Yeah, I did do, as a child. They came here like that. I didn't teach you anything. Right? It's on you guys. But this, you don't have to worry about it because it's not going downstairs, it's going upstairs. Oh, God. All right. Oh. Oh. He messed it up a little. Oh. Remember to floss, kids. They <laughs> tell me if I say that, this counts as community service. <laughs> she gets it. <laughs> nice ankle bracelet, ma'am. Is this supervised release? How are you doing? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, that, was that, was, that was just for fun. I you, played you the can try that at home if you want to. Just get one out, give it a shot. But what I'm about to do for you now is uh, a little bit more complicated. I'm going to attempt to manipulate the pressure inside my skull, and in doing so, inflate this in a reversal of the process and I, and I you, you look at me really good. don't think about it just watch it's easier that way Objective, right? That's, that's, that was beautiful. Here's the thing. I've done this around the world for thousands of people. All cultures, all colors, all creeds. And you know what? I say one thing to you people who certainly right now. If you don't like watching a lizard blow a condom out of his nose, there's something wrong with you because there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to put that back in there. <laughs> you guys want one more? Yeah! All right, tell you what I'm going to do. I have one more stunt I'm going to perform for you up here on this stage. But when that stunt is over, the show's not done. Oh. 
After I finish this next set, I'm gonna hop down off the stage right here, and anyone that wants to grab a photo, high five, just say hello. We're gonna form a nice little disorganized line off that direction, and I'm gonna hang out till I get to meet everybody that wants to say hello and get a photo. Right now, it's my honor and pleasure to present to you one of the oldest and most dangerous acts in the sideshow. Oh my God, sword swallowing. Sword swallowing. Yes! Has been practiced for over 4,000 years. Oh. And for all 4,000 of those years, sword swallowers like myself have been accused of being frauds, charlatans, or even practicing witchcraft. Oh. Now, green skin aside, I'm not a witch. But I am going to swallow this sword for you here tonight. Yay. Now, the sword is real. It doesn't bend, doesn't fold, doesn't retract. It's also dull. If you can see by the way I'm handling it. Yeah. That's important. Because a long time ago we figured out if you try to swallow a sharp sword, <laughs> you will die. Yeah. yeah. But with a little bit of training and time, you can learn to swallow a dull sword and survive. I'm going to try and do that for you guys in just a couple moments. Try? But that's not all I'm going to do. I'm going to take it a little bit further. Tonight, for you, I'm going to double the danger and the fun by doubling my body over in half with the blade still inside me. Oh. That way all of you out here are going to get a good shot of the sword going right down my throat. I'll hold that position for as long as I can. When I can't take it anymore, I'm going to stand straight back up, flip the sword into the air, projectile vomit onto that lady, and catch the sword before it hits the ground. Welcome to SeaWorld. You're in the splash zone. And, and, look, that doesn't always happen. We're going to find out. It, it's, a, it's a surprise to me, too, if it does, all right? But there's something that I promise you I won't do. That is, I won't go in dry. So it's time to lubricate the blade. Both sides at once. <laughs> now, if you want me to swallow this sword, risk my very life for your entertainment. On the count of three, I want all of you here, as loud as you can, to scream, do it. Here we go. One, two, three. Do it! I have two minutes left of recording tonight. Oh, it gets really quiet at this point. Yeah. Like, We're we baited bread. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, no vomit that time, but. Sad. Look at the end of the blade right there. You see a white, gooey substance kind of dribbling down oh. it. Yeah. That's what proves sword swallowing is real, because what you're looking at right there, that used to be lunch. Oh, stop. Now it's dinner. <laughs> oh. Always better the second time around. Stop. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You guys are I appreciate taking time. You take the time out of your night to stop by and catch my silly little show. As I said, now I'm going to hop down here. Anybody wants to grab a photo, oh, grab a high five, goodness. just say hello. Well, come on over and say hello. That was amazing.